Hold on now. Hey, hey. All right, we're on. We're live, baby. Hey. I'm going to give it a clap so we can sync it with the microphone because I didn't do that last time and that was a big regret. It's a big mistake. So here we go. Welcome, everybody, to the Porch Podcast, episode number uh, 675. <laughs> uh, we're coming at you live, man. Hey, we're back. Smooth. Welcome back again, bro. Hey. We're back, bro. Hey, hey, hey. It's been a minute. You welcome me back. Welcome back, bro. Thanks, bro. Welcome. It's our show, man. And yeah. We put on a great show. Hopefully, everybody likes this one. Oh, yeah. Just us today, guys. It's your, uh, your favorite porch crew right here. Hope y'all like it. We ain't going nowhere, baby. Ever. Ever. So, <clears throat> we're getting closer to Christmas time. We already had Thanksgiving. We had a little... Um, we didn't have a video for Thanksgiving. No. But we did have we a little... We synced it, kind of. We kind of yeah. put two in one. Yeah, well, we had a Christmas video, an early Christmas video, yeah. which is up now. You, can, you guys can go check that out. Yeah, somebody was like, "Uh, y'all, y'all are celebrating too early." <laughs> Who said that? Somebody said that. Yeah, one of my cousins. So, oh, wow. uh, y'all celebrating too early. We got a little special treat from you guys today. We got this new game called Puff Puff Pass. Whoa. It's a card game, um, that was given to me for an early Christmas present. And shout out to my parents for giving me that. <laughs> Shout out, mom. Didn't see that mom. one coming. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> so now we're gonna we're gonna uh, get into that here in a little bit. But first, we're gonna tell you guys. Um, I wanted to make this announcement. Um, our Patreon is is lacking right now, but if you are subscribed to the Patreon, don't hold out just yet because we got some stuff coming. We're working and and uh, working on some more uh, music things. And uh, I won't talk too much about it because, you know, talking about it is one thing. Actually getting it out there and doing it is another. Actually, so actually. let's get right back, right into it, man. But how you been, bro? You been all right? Yeah, I've been good, man. Um, I've been kind of getting things right. Um, Just like organized. I, that, that's what I want to say. Organized. Right. I've been more organized now. Like I've been more on a, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? More, more like lining strict. them up. Yeah, like strict with myself. Like, well, what are you? What would you? What were you doing before that you s- would consider not so much strict? Um, so like I would kind of like stay on the couch a little bit longer than necessary. Really? Yeah. Huh. Instead of you know like going and so dry like the clothes or just being a couch potato. Yeah, more or less. like more like huh. Oh Cause it's it's real, bro. Like when you so when you sit on that couch, you don't want to get up like that. That's just that feeling. Like <laughs> you're stuck, bro. Uh, yeah, you're in you're in a zone where you're like, man, I'm just gonna kick it, honestly. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Chill I'm like today. the clothes will be there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, but then you start getting into those patterns where you're like, I'm gonna chill today too. Like a man, like what yeah, else it I becomes got going a on? habit. And then you realize you're like, damn, I just did like a whole week of literally nothing. And then, I've, you, I've and then nothing. you kind of take that habit outside to work or you get lazy at work yeah, sometimes. You know? Oops, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I feel you. No, I feel you. No, I can definitely get lazy sometimes. I definitely see where you're coming coming from. Yeah, and, you know, there's other times where I get this this head rush. Of just like you got to do something, bro. Do this, do that, do that. You have so many ideas, and I'm stuck in a place where I'm at work or I'm at this doing this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do anything right, right. now. It makes me really like it makes me really like man. I take I take for granted all the times I I can do something. Right. Like oh man, like I, I could have done this that day, but no, like there I was sitting on my butt, you know. Just yeah. I just feel like you have the best ideas when like you're caught up. Caught up, it caught up in yeah. something like you know what I'm saying. Like I'll take out my phone like and try to do like a little note or a voice memo, and then people think I'm ignoring them or something. I'm yeah. just like, no, 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 you don't get it. Like, <laughs> yeah, let you me don't do get it. it. Like, uh, it's a creative process, bro. It's like telling Picasso, like, stop drawing for a second. Yeah, you gotta give me this like, moment. Yo, chill, stop drawing. For this a second. is my like, moment. No, no, no. Like, I'm gonna finish this. I got an idea. Right. Uh, First uh, card. Puff, puff, pass. Let's get right into it, guys. This is the card game. Uh, we don't know where it's from. I think my my parents said they saw it on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. So, shout them out. One time. No, we can't do this one. That's a truth or dare. We can't do that can't one. Do we that don't one. have time for that. Do we? Eat a spoonful of whatever the group decides. If you refuse, take a puff. Nah, no group. 
Let's do no, no, group. Group. no group. You just didn't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do pick that one, one. Man. You pick All one, right, bro. let me do this one. Let me do All this right, one. No chickening out. No, that's a bad one, too. Come on, that's man. That's a bad one, too, bro. Honestly. Oh, Puff. Take a Puff. All right. Well, that means Puff Pass. So. Puff Pass, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, we got trivia. Um, according to a study, when surgeons did this for over three weeks... Three hours a week, sorry. They made 37% fewer errors and completed surgeries 27% faster. What were they doing? Uh, what, practicing? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, right? It's something a- a- abnormal that you wouldn't think would be helping them, I guess. Fishing? Yeah, fishing? fishing? Is that your final answer? Yeah, were they fishing? It was playing video games. Really? Yeah, They. I guess they... Yeah, it says, it says right here, according to a study, when surgeons did this, aka played video games, three hours a day, uh, three hours a week, sorry, they made 37 fewer errors wow. and completed 27 faster surgery, or wow. surgeries faster. That's mind-blowing. No, yeah. man, it's my turn still. I didn't oh, it's still no your puff. turn? Oh, what? I didn't. Oh, oh okay. boy. Dare, call your parents right now and tell them you're high. If you... <laughs> Call your parents right now, dude. <laughs> Yo, call them I'll, right now, I'll bro. puff it, man. Call, that nah, is oh, man. I'll puff it, bro. Weak, bro. <laughs> weak. weak, bro. Weak, I can't do it, bro. No way, bro. I can't do that, bro. All right, next. Next. Ain't it your go? Because I didn't. Because you didn't even do it, you little chicken. I had to puff. All right. This is oh, not. I got puff. I got puff, so it's your oh, turn. my turn. It's your turn now. It says, Mm. debate. All right. Which pastime is far and away the best to do while high? What pastime is the best to do while high? What pastime? Yeah, read it. It's it's a little weird the way it says. Which pastime is far and away, far and away the best? To do while high, far and away. I'm not getting that. I'm not even getting the the, the um the prompt. I'm, okay, I'm the I'm question. guessing that it means like which what pastime, what activity to, is the best while you're high. Like what what do you what would you consider as the best thing to do while you're high while you're stoned? We should say stoned because high sounds could be like anything like like heroin or something. We yeah, don't do that. Yeah, that's not. That's horrible. Yeah. So um. <laughs> movies? I don't know. I mean, bad movies, bro. I think I think watching bad movies is a lot is, is a lot of fun. My stone? Yeah, when you're stoned. Yeah, I mean, the best pastime. I mean, something obvious would be like, oh, go eat. You know what I do? Like, yeah, well, that's one of them. Go eat. Go eat. Look at that. Look at that. Um, that microwave like this. Fireworks. Shooting fireworks off. I mean, you you don't shoot fireworks off high. Watching fireworks while I you're come high. Up, you know what? I come up with a lot of like good ideas the past time. And you know what? I don't even write them down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You just sit there you and just think. Just sit there and think. In your head. <laughs> be like, yeah. that's dope. That's great. <laughs> write like, them I down. Write this down. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Write all your thoughts down, guys. Let's do another one. Let's, Let's do, do another, another one real quick. All right. <clears throat> Choose your character, Disney. So. Out of all the Disney characters, who do you think I would be? Out of all the Disney characters you can think of. All the Disney characters? Yeah, out of any of the Disney characters you could think of. I think you're like Olaf. I think you're <laughs> like Christopherson. Christopherson. Who's that? The um the guy off of Winnie the Pooh. The, really? The only normal person yeah. that's not an animal. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I like that. <laughs> I only like said that. Olaf because he's goofy. I don't really know, honestly. Olaf? I, I say you're like... Who uh, is that? That's that snow dude? Snow guy, yeah. Snow uh-huh. guy. Snowman. Yeah. All right. That was a good one. Go oh, ahead. Go. Pick one. Let me, let me, let me pick yeah, one. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Oh, I got a puff. I guess they're oh, giving shit. it to you. Up yours. <laughs> All right. Truth or dare. Dare. Play one round of baseball if you refuse. What? We can't, we can't go That's play... That's what I'm saying, man. We let can't me. go play baseball, man. Actually, I wish we could. Would you rather? I got a good one right here. All right, let's do this. Call your first love and tell them you love them 
or have very obviously hideous kids. Which one? Wait, when was the first one? The, the first one is call your first love and tell them you love them. Yeah, I'd do that any day and then have ugly kids. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, you, what are you talking about? You're, those are my kids you're talking about, bro. Like, what the hell? So ugly kids. My bro. kids? Yeah. Nah, man, they're going to be good. You're gonna look good, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll call my ex right now and tell her I love her, and just and then she'll be like, "Huh?" You lucky didn't that mean it, and she'd be like, "I don't care." Lucky that wasn't a dare. Wish that was a dare. He would have yeah, did I would've it. Done it. I would have done it. <laughs> that would have been like up yours. All right, internet gym. We're not doing that because you guys can't see it. If you guys can't watch it, then what's the point? Yeah. And also, I don't know if it'll get copyrighted. So, debate. Are our phones listening to us right now? Yes. 100%. It tells you that it is. It r- really? Yeah, it tells you that they are. It legally, like, it, it lets you know. So who's listening, though? Who's if, the, if, <laughs> if, if, yeah, who's like, <laughs> if, if the phone is, th- who, who is listening? I mean, uh, if anybody's listening, it's going to be corporations, like people that are trying to sell you stuff, like these guys right here, like Puff Puff Pass. Yeah. The, you know, I don't know. I think it's a good question. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I think. I think uh, corporations are Google, you know, I think Google's they're looking at you, what you search. They're making sure they know what you want and they put it up in your feed. So that way you buy it. That's true. You know, I think consumers are the people that are listening to you. I don't think it's some weirdo that's like in his room, dark room. And it's like, oh, yeah, I know what smooth likes to listen to. Yeah, now. That's what I'm thinking, because no. even if you're not because like this is the thing. Uh, this is how I am. If you're not minding your business, you weird to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like like you Snoopy, are, like like all up in your like yeah, somebody, like, somebody that'll do this to you. Yeah, just to see like, what you got going on in your phone. Even if you know me or you don't know me, like yeah, to like my like to not mind your business on about something that is like you're weird sketchy, right? Like, I have to like remove like I remove it, yeah. if it don't make sense, and I feel like you just. You ever had a girl do that to you? Yeah, you've had a lot of that. Oh yeah, no? oh gonna yeah. Say, that's where I get it the most. Yeah, definitely. Like, Cause I don't, I don't. It, it if it doesn't make sense, it feels like either it feels like either one of us is trying to be nosy. Either I'm trying to be nosy hmm. or you. Are. I'm trying to figure out what's up with you. You know what I'm saying? It's just weird. It's weird. It's just shit. Hmm. But I think people are listening to us. Yeah, I think they are. One hundred percent think they are. Yeah. This is another debate one. It says best unusual munchies food combination. Example: French fries and milkshake. Oh, all day long. But um, what would you say? The best salty and sweet. Anything salty and sweet, dude. Um, combination. Yeah, combination salty and sweet. So I would say like um, um, pizza rolls and and um, pizza rolls and honey. Pizza rolls and honey. Yeah, pizza rolls and honey would be wow. really good together. I bet you would be really good together. Wow. I bet you it would be different. Really good together. Yeah. You know what I really do? Like you oh, sorry, go ahead. Like um I do french fries and ranch. Ooh. Yeah. Ketchup and mayonnaise together. I haven't really even tried that. Oh, like, I, I, I used to I used to see y'all eat that at lunch at school and I was like not with it. I didn't do that at school because the, the mayonnaise at school taste it was awful. I remember you did it at your your crib though. I used My to see, house, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time I did it. But yeah. the the one at not school at used school. to take <laughs> Did I do it at school? I don't know. I, I don't know, know, but I I used to see a lot Maybe of people do that. Maybe I did. I seen people. I seen them put um. I wouldn't put it past me. Put ketchup and may- mayonnaise and dip and dip their pizza in it. And I was like, Ugh, that's yeah. too much. Yeah, that's too yeah. much. Man, that was middle pizza. school. That was that was middle school, bro. No, I seen you. a lot of st- we seen a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of goobers out there, man. <laughs> I've seen a lot of shout out to those weird kids that yeah, man that had the weird they're probably had, like taste. Yeah, birds. they're probably up now. They're probably making millions Bang. right now. Yeah, Those are the kind of guys that make like the, the crazy twisted like treats and stuff that come out for kids. And it's <laughs> like, oh, yeah, so awesome. Yeah, they, I wish we had that. They always in jobs like you never heard of. <laughs> like, I bet you we know somebody that was in high school that is in the FBI now. Or the CIA. You know what? You know, you know what, what? You never think about it because like they disappeared a whole like their whole – they didn't even have Facebook or nothing. No, nah, bro, nothing. It's so hidden. It's like they're yeah. dead. Bro, I was looking. <laughs> up, I was looking for this guy uh, that I knew, what we knew in uh, middle school and a little bit of high school. James Stotler, bro. Do you remember James Stotler at all? Mm-mm. I just said his full name on here, you so did. I probably have to like bleep it out. Sorry about that, James. But if you're a hey, shout out, if you're out there though, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I was looking for him the other day, dude. And he was like disappeared off the 
face of the earth, bro. And then I found one little thing that was like from 2000 and like whatever, bro, like an old profile. And I was like, well, maybe he's on there, bro. Ugh. Last time he uploaded was like 2018, I think it was. And I was like, maybe he's on there. I don't know what the hell, man. It's just weird how some people just like, like you said, yeah. fall off they the fall face off. of the earth, yeah. bro. Strange, man. But you want to know something? Like, if, if it wasn't for like us doing this and me liking music, I wouldn't be on. On nothing. Where no. would you be? I will. I it's not that on. you wouldn't be on. Nothing. Like I wouldn't say I wouldn't be on it, You'd but be like on something else, maybe. Yeah, like social media wouldn't be my like a thing for me. Like I, I don't feel like is it social- a thing for you now? I mean, yes. you're just on it, right? I'm just on it. I, I like the only reason I post because of us. You know what I'm saying? Right or, yeah, you know I get what I'm it. saying? I get it. Otherwise, you would just be like doing whatever. Yeah. What would I post? Like what? I don't like. Right now, I don't even post my family. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I just don't. Yeah. I keep some things secretive. Well, yeah. not really. I just like my business to be like, cause they don't treat me, they don't treat me different. Like mm-hmm. my family's gonna treat me how I grew how up. Is. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and all that. So like, they don't. Mm-mm. It's not like the same treatment. It's not like yeah. you, you know. It's not like you're putting in less or more. It's just like you know you're gonna do your thing and like you're gonna love them and they're gonna mm-hmm. love you regardless. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, I, I like it when you I can, love it. You can really get along with your family like that, man. It's a good yeah, feeling, bro. bro. It's a good feeling. Shout I don't out think your everybody needs to be in the limelight with you when. No, there nobody. No, yeah, I mean not everybody needs to be up and up in the know about every little detail. I mean, there's about some certain you. family members that that are, and those family members can be up and the other family members being like, "Yeah, he's good. He's mm-hmm. good." You know, like, so "Yeah, I talked to him on this. Was good." Yeah. You know, that's a good thing. That's a beneficial thing about having brothers, sisters, or like cousins that are like close to you and things like that. I have a question for you, um, because so, I get I get this question asked to me a lot, yeah, a lot, that? right? What do you think about? Um, family members or anybody around you or whatever that doesn't support what you got going on, like what you got, like what we got going yeah, on. Yeah, what we yeah. got going on or what you ah, know. What I'm saying, what do you like, consider not supporting, like somebody that's like, oh man, you shouldn't be doing that, or somebody that's like, just won't watch your stuff, that just won't like, okay, yeah, that's yeah, cool, yeah, kinda. yeah, 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 that type. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't like. There's gonna be people that do that all day long, man. There's right. like, there's the, the population of this earth is is, is, is enormous, bro. It's, it's right. ridiculous, bro. How many people are on here? So if you spent time thinking about how many people don't watch your stuff, what about the ones that's not trying? Like, they like, no, you just need to do something else. That's not what you're gonna do. I mean, yeah, people are gonna tell you that every day, bro. Yeah, people are know, gonna tell yeah. you that no matter what you do. If you could be a, you could be the best plumber in the earth, and someone's gonna be like, oh man, you should be plumbing, obviously. But it's what I want to do, right. so I'm gonna do it, like. Um, you know, there's going to be people telling you, hey, man, you sh- you probably shouldn't be a lawyer because, you know, lawyers have a bad rep. But, I mean, so what? I mean, I could be a good lawyer. I could do my thing and then be an honest working person. I- I'm just putting that as an example. Right, right, N- right. Nothing bad against lawyers. Right, right, I'm right. just saying, like, you could be anything you want to be. Someone's going to tell you you probably should be doing this. You know how many times I've gotten I've gotten told, like, I was working, doing stuff, and they're like, you should be in – uh, uh, you should be a waiter. Oh my God! You should be in, um, you know, in in restaurant business. To waiting, uh, you would get so many tips because you you know you're, you're handsome, you're you're funny. This that I'm like yo like, I, that's uh, and <laughs> to wear a monkey suit and like talk you know talk to customers all right. day long. That's the opposite of what I want to do. I right. took all my jobs away from the customers so I wouldn't have to talk to people. Not that I don't get along with people because you know me, man. Yeah, I can yeah, talk yeah. to a brick wall, bro. But do I <laughs> want? But do I want to? to right is the question. No. I right. don't want to talk to everybody in the world. I mean, I do. I love you guys, but I mean, as extroverted as I am, I'm all, I'm also introverted, bro. Yeah, I'm also I, I like that. to get my own space, bro, and I can't get that like talking to people every day for a living. Right. But that's what everybody told me I should do. I should do that. Right. Well, look at me now, bro. I do the complete opposite. Complete. I'm in I'm in like con- like not construction, but I'm installing stuff, you know? It's like pretty much don't talk to thing. nobody. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. No such thing as a customer unless they're buying the product I'm installing. Yeah, and you pretty much don't have to deal with them. Yeah, no. Not at all. You know how that goes, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You pre- People probably tell you all the time right now that you should be doing something else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, they go from, but it's all around the board. I got people tell, like, uh, here's the thing, man. Like, people, up? like, <laughs> 
The same people that are telling you you need to do something different are the same people that, that when you make it big and famous are going to be saying, I knew it. I believed in you, man. I knew you could have it in you all the time. I knew you had it in you the whole time, man. I had your back, bro. Can I get five bucks? But at the same time, it's plenty of, it's plenty of people who motivated me, too. Good. Right? But his, but like the thing is, what what makes you what makes you think like I'm in the wrong direction? What makes you think you start you start falling into a a pit? But what makes that person know? think I'm in the wrong direction? They're in the pit. <laughs> they're in the wrong direction. They're in the wrong direction. I think that they are so set in their ways, or that they're stuck up in their ways. They think you got to be doing exactly what they're doing to be successful. When in reality, if everybody did exactly the same thing, no one would be successful. Mm. We'd all just be doing the same the same job. Like you can't you can't have a million firefighters in, in one city <laughs> or you know what I mean? Like what, there's yeah. not that many fires, bro. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Know your role. Yeah, right? think about it like you're telling me what I need to do right because you're in a situation where you think you're you're fine, you're perfect, you're good, right? But what happens in a month or two when something happens, you're let go of that job because coronavirus or something happens, something completely crazy happens. Mm-hmm. Now you're the one that's looking like, dang, I need to change up my stuff and now I can tell you Man, you should probably get into this, get into that, get into this, get into that. Now the rolls, well, the tables done turn. Yeah. Uh, well, that's when you start looking at yourself and being like, yeah, maybe I should make some make some changes. You know, maybe I should do that. And like, everybody has that ability to know when is enough. Enough is enough. And if they don't, that means they're just in denial, bro. Like uh, a lot of people are in denial with it and be like, no, no, I'm okay. I can keep doing this. I'm okay. But they want to be in that. They want to be in that spot. That's why they'll deny it and they'll think they're okay. But everybody's at. Everybody will get to that point where they're like, man, I actually do need to do something different. I got there. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. people get there, bro. Like, you just gotta let them have their own, their own like path, you know. And like, you can be there to guide them. But I would never say to try to point a finger at somebody and say you need to stop, do something different, like right away. Unless I sucked at something, <laughs> like yo. <laughs> <laughs> then tell me 100% yo you need to do something else like I remember one time I was trying to sing like super high pitch like ah, nah, nah, you know what I mean <laughs> my mom was in the car with me and she's like uh, hey who's, who sings that who's that song like what is that song and I tell her what song it is. she's like well well maybe maybe you should just Maybe you should just maybe not sing that song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll, dude, dude, she will, she will tell you, uh, yeah. like, she will tell you up and down, swear up and down that she did not say that ever. She would, I would never say that. Yeah. Mom, you said, said that. that. <laughs> she said that to me, bro. And I she was like, she kept it real, bro. She kept it, it had, real, bro. It messed with her, her spirit or something. Something was not so right. Was telling bro. her, like, let him know. Let him know. <laughs> Right now, he can't be singing that. that sh- Let him know. It was too high pitched. I shouldn't have been singing it. Hey, but I got good at singing. Learning, so. yeah, we learn. Learn. It definitely. did motivate me to get better at singing. Mm-hmm. So there's that. Thanks, ma. <laughs> but if I didn't have that, I wouldn't have known I was bad. And right. that means that I would have progressed thinking that I was good, and then one day maybe ended up on America's Got Talent, and then looking like an idiot on there. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, you get what I'm saying though. That is crazy. So you know what I mean? So. You need those people Ooh. and you don't need those people, bro. Like what I mean is like you need those people to keep you in a check and reality check. Like, dang, what I am chasing is something crazy. Like music and, and, and entertainment, that is something crazy to start try to try to go chase and do. Like, oh my god, yeah, like, well, who am I? Oh wait. I, I'm the man. I'm the I can, man. I can yeah, make this man. happen, bro. Yeah. So you need those people, bro. You need those people to keep you in check, man. To keep you in reality check because a lot of times mm. people will go around thinking you are the man. You already made it. You are the man. But, bro, like, there's no money to coming in. There's right. no fans coming in. Right. There's no product going out. There's, you know what I mean? You're just, you're just in the little, own little bubble. And then, then you become, like, a joke, you know? You mm. become kind of a silly-looking guy, you know? Right. But you have those reality checks. You start realizing, you know, check your little. They're gay. In the house. But you, yeah, so. You get those reality checks and you start realizing that, hey, man, you know what? I need to slow down. Do it this way. Maybe this way is a better way to do it. Let's try something different. Try something. You have to come to re- realization with yourself. Yeah, all day long. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. Going back, like, I. I <laughs> I hear what you say about the music because, like, my 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 brother is one of the biggest critics, like, of of me, which I love it though. But like, when <laughs> when you listen to your music and you're like, I love it, like, you know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. song you just made, yeah. And then you let you let somebody listen to it and they're not really, they're not on the same wave the energy yeah. that you were on. They're listening to it just like and this. And then not now you're second guessing your song. 
Yeah, I do that a lot with um. I, I've had that past um experience with like girlfriends, mm. and like I'll I'll be riding in the car with them like, and sometimes like they just be just dead on their phone bro yeah, like yeah, nothing yeah. bro and then it makes me feel like i didn't got it you know what i'm saying right. like and then other times i'm like i'll be in the you know what i'm saying i'll be in there and then it's like like who is this like who is this yeah. oh that's me no that's not get, yo shut up that's not you and then they'll fr- you know people freak out and then i'm like these are the moments that i live for, I live for these yeah. are the moments that i do this better for. than that's one those are better than money that dude that, those moments that moment are worth every every ounce of like like this all day long like i, I dude Give me that all day long, but one time a year, give me that. Who is it? Oh, that's you. Oh, man, this is this is hard all day long, bro. Cause I live for that. I love that, bro. But the more stuff you make and produce, the more times you can have that moment because then friends of friends can share and yada yada yada. There, so on there, right. so forth, bro. I don't right. know, man. There's an algorithm to it, but I think what we're trying to figure out is, um, I think what we're trying to figure out is ourselves. Yeah, cause honestly, it's like I, I'm just having fun, bro. Like, we're, mm. like it's it's fun, pretty much. Like everything we're doing, like mm. it's not nothing complex. Like we're having fun with it, bro. As soon as we stop having fun with it, that's when we know it's over. That's when we know. Puff puff pass, everybody. Puff puff pass. Debate: Sativa or indica? One, three, two, and three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. Indica. indica. Really? Yeah. All right, no debate. No debate here. And why though? Uh, oh man, look oh, at that jacket, uh, bro. Man, why would you do that? Look at that jacket. Come in here, bro. Yeah, come, come, come here, here come here. What is that? Cinnamon? Sit down real quick. Cranberry. Hey, 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 in right, the so we gonna do a full movie um boxing. Hey, what's up, my guys? I'm out here. <laughs> Hey, you can hear me? I don't know if you can hear me, but yo, I've been driving. Where you I've coming been from? In Holland, Orlando. Nice. You know, the, or, the Hollywood, as they say in the Florida. Hollywood of Florida? Hell! As <laughs> known as some other places. Yo, man. <laughs> We're going to do the Christmas unboxing on live TV. Uh oh, uh oh. I went out to, to Jimmy Jazz, you know, you know, Hollywood. You, you're going nice. to go to Jimmy Jazz in Hollywood. So I'm, I'm gonna give it to my boy over here. Here you go. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's for me. Oh, that's for me. Yeah, you stupid. <laughs> you stupid. Yeah, bro. All right. I'm gonna open it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's see what this is. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, it's Jimmy Jazz. Jimmy from Jimmy Jazz. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man. Ooh. Oh man. Ooh, look at that wise guy. My boy came through. Look at that wise guy. Wise guy. Look at that. Bro, thanks, guy. man. I am going to rock this on my next video. Mm-hmm. Next music video. You will catch this on. <laughs> Appreciate you, my boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Appreciate you, my boy. Hey. That's that love. Good. That's love, bro. That's love. But since we talk about new merch, hey, what's up? Well, I'm out here with the, with the Paris Nightmare. I got here with the Paris Nightmare, a.k.a. Okay, the Gundam, you know. The Gundam Love Five Ever sweater, um, it's it's up right now. I don't know if it's gonna still be up when you guys see this, but my boy Wolf Legad at Wolf Legad or at Paris Nightmares at, on IG. It's my boy. It's my man's. And if you like, man, right here on my booty. Wait, 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 wait. Let me pull a car. Let me pull a card for jerky. If you can see, you didn't. if you can see my booty, is, these are my boys shorts. Hey, jerky, jerky, jerky. They, they, they call jerky, falling jerky, shorts. Jerky, jerky. The Maniac. I see you it. can catch him at IG on The Maniac. You feel me? It's D-A. D-A Maniac. All right. You feel me? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Hey, sit down real quick, man. Hey, let me, shirt am I wearing? <laughs> let me ask you a question, man. What, or a pop up pass question or whatever. Debate or whatever, whatever car pulls up, I'm going to ask you if it's if it's worth it. This one is not good. Okay, would you rather? Would you rather right here? Okay, all right. Would you rather give up your phone for a year or have to post a selfie every time you use social media? Hey, I'm posting a selfie every day. Every time. Every, every time. time. Every, every time. Every time you get on there, like so. If you get off and get. 
Bro, you know how many times you'll post, bro? I'm posting. I'm spamming. <laughs> I'm oh, spamming. Spamming. You got a problem? You get blocked. Well, there you have you it. Know what's up. If you're like jerky, you you will post every single time. But me, me, I'm getting up off of there, bro. Hey, just I'm, imagine these are blue hunters because that's all I got on my wallet right now. I keep my money on out. my card. Check me out. And um, that is the show today. Oh, um, we got a little Christmas honey. spirit in here. You know what I'm saying? Da da da. Jerky gate. Jerky got me uh, a gift. So look out for um. Some more Christmas spirit coming up. We got more for you. So uh, thanks for watching the Porch Podcast. Jerky, you want to sign out for us? It's beginning to look a lot <laughs> like Christmas. <laughs> and that's our show, man. Thanks for watching. We are the Porch family. Shout out to Danko behind the camera Woo! right now. And, um, yeah. Deuces. I love you. Deuce. I love you. <laughs>